Hey, what's good? I'm professional shooting coach Colin Castell, and today I'm going to teach you how to fix your chicken wing. Now, a chicken wing is something that a lot of players struggle with, and many times they don't realize that it's something else in their mechanics that's actually causing that chicken wing. So in today's video, I'm going to help you diagnose what's causing your chicken wing and a few different ways that you can easily fix it. But before we jump into it, this video is sponsored by my guys over at the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge is a minimal front pocket wallet that's designed to streamline what you carry every day. It has over 30,000 five-star reviews and is a better way to carry your cash and cards. And to make it even better, there's a lifetime warranty if you love it and free returns if you don't. It comes in titanium, carbon fiber, aluminum, and over a dozen different styles and colors. All right, so for my Ridge wallet, I went with a titanium, but cameraman Jake actually went with the carbon fiber. So no matter what you're interested in or no matter what your style is or what you're looking for in a wallet, the Ridge wallet has you covered with a beautifully crafted design. So all you gotta do to pick up your wallet is head to ridge.com slash coach. It's the first link in the description down below and enter the promo code coach at checkout to save 10% instantly. All right, so the very first thing that can really kind of fix your chicken wing most of the time is adjusting your feet. Now, what's crazy about shooting is most of the time, everything's interconnected. Something on your release can be, you know, switched by something in your elbow. Something in the elbow can be switched by something from your feet. And a lot of times it's a chain reaction. And so it makes it really hard for players to diagnose what's causing their chicken wing problem because it might be something that has nothing to do with the elbow or nothing to do with the wrist, right? And generally speaking, the feet is probably the first one. Now, if you're having a terrible chicken wing, I want you to look at your feet and see what direction they're pointing. Most of the time, if you're squared up towards the basket, meaning 10 toes to the rim, that's gonna cause a bit of a chicken wing. And it's basically just the way that everybody's body biomechanics work, right? So if I'm right here and I'm facing 10 toes, 10 toes toward the rim and I raise the ball up, I can feel this shoulder tension right here starting to pull down on my shoulder. And basically, anytime you have shoulder tension, it has to be relieved one way or another, right? And so one way is that the ball is gonna come off of a left shot line, right? Or the other way is that a chicken wing ends up happening. So a lot of times players are like, I try to tuck my elbow, I try to do everything I can, I can't get my elbow in, but a simple twist of the feet is gonna solve that, right? And so basically we wanna think about if we can tilt our feet off to the opposite side, so if I'm a right-handed player and I tilt my feet to the left, that's gonna allow less tension in my shoulder and automatically it's gonna pull my elbow back underneath the basketball into the jump shot. I was working with a uh, pro player a few years ago. He had had a chicken wing and a massive hitch for years and years and years, right? I had him tilt his feet just a little bit and literally within like three minutes he was knocking down shots everything was straight and it was like his hitch and his chicken wing automatically went away right and so it's one of those things where a lot of times just a quick tweak will make a huge difference now the whole key with your feet is you want to figure out how much of a tilt's going to work for you because you might need just a tiny little tilt to get your chicken wing under control or you might need a bigger one it's going to depend on a lot of other factors that have to do with it so i want you to experiment with your foot position and see what allows you to get your elbow underneath the basketball get rid of that chicken wing. All right, so first thing I want you to try is the feet, right? But after we try that, the next thing you wanna move on to is adjusting your hand position. Now, hand position is incredibly important to shooting because it kind of sets a lot of the rest of your mechanics in place. So what a lot of times happens is a chicken wing comes from trying to shove your hand behind the basketball, right? A lot of players are taught that like perfect shooting form, you have your hand behind the ball and your wrist locked just like this. But the problem is the way your body's built. If I try to reach my, or kind of, you know, crank my hand behind the ball, all of a sudden it starts wanting to push this elbow out, right? So you can think about if I'm trying to shove my hand behind the ball and I pull it up, all of a sudden I've got this chicken wing, the ball starting to fly off of these, you know, ring and pinky finger, and all of a sudden we've got a mess, right? So a lot of times by just shifting your hand position, you can automatically get rid of your chicken wing without changing anything else in your jump shot, right? So a few hand positions you can try. Number one, I say kind of backside right here, right? So we're not on the back, we're not on the side, we're kind of in the middle, and hand more on top of the basketball right here. This position a lot of times allows you to swing your elbow in just like this, and that way it's all gonna come up and then the ball's coming off straight on your middle or your index finger, whichever release you wanna use, right? So just by shifting your hand position from the back of the ball to kind of the top back side over on this is gonna alleviate your chicken wing a lot of the times. Now, if you've got a really big problem, sometimes you can continue that migration of the hand forward to totally on top of the ball. If you watch somebody like Trey Young, he does a great job of getting his elbow in, even though he's got a low set point. And part of that is because his hand is on top of the ball rather than on the side of the ball, right? So think about where your set point's at. If you've got a really low one, you probably wanna move your hand further up the ball. If you've got a higher one, you can probably scoot it a little bit further on the back or on the back side, right? So think about that. Adjusting your hand position, a lot of times can swing that elbow underneath the basketball, keeping that chicken wing in. All right, so the next issue that can give you a chicken wing is the shot line, right? And I kind of mentioned this one earlier just a little bit, but basically the shot line is the path the ball travels up 
towards the hoop, right? So we'll notice a lot of times with chicken wingers, the shot line comes up the opposite side of their body. So if they're a right-handed shooter, the shot line comes up the left and then their chicken wing is sticking out this direction, just like that, right? So a lot of times just by adjusting your shot line up, going in a straight line, it automatically allows your elbow to fall underneath the basketball and keep everything in a straight line. So go ahead, what I always, you know, kind of tell players to do is set up a phone, set up a camera, have a friend hold a camera and take a video directly in front of you as you're shooting, right? Kind of like the camera is to me and see what path the ball travels. If it pa travels in a straight path up the right side, that's probably a good sign for your chicken wing, right? If it's traveling up the left side or away, we want to be able to move it over, right? So you always want to kind of self-diagnose and check it out and see where your shot line's at because if it's off to the left side, it's probably promoting that elbow to fly on you just a little bit. Now from here, it's all about diagnostic, right? It's all about being a self-aware shooter and figuring out what works best for you. So what I want you to do, if you have a chicken wing, try the feet first, see how it works. If it's like, eh, still got, you know, kind of a chicken wing going on, try the hand position, see if that works. Right? If that doesn't work, try the shot line. See if that works. If all three of them don't work, then it's probably a combination. You're gonna need to do feet and hand, or hand and shot line, or shot line and feet, right? So think about it like that. Try each one individually, and then go back through if it didn't work, and then try pairing them together and see if that gets you results. All right, again, a big thank you to the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video, and all you gotta do is click the top link in the description down below and use promo code COACH at checkout for 10% off instantly. I'm loving mine so far, and I know you will too. All right, don't forget, if you wanna dial in your strokes, you can go ahead and click the top link in the description down below and get a free copy of my quick draw shooting workout to not only get your jumper faster, but also more consistent in real game scenarios. And if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button and then hit the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you wanna see next because we run pretty much everything off a request. And if you leave it down below, hopefully we'll be able to get to it. And if you're new to shot mechanics, welcome to the Splash Army. Click that subscribe button, ding the bell notification and come back because every week we put out videos that are gonna get you better, I guarantee it. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.